guys, I am finally back with another jewelry tutorial for you. I wanted to thank everyone for all the well wishes and concern after my surgery. Um, I'm happy to report that I am doing well and finally have my voice back, more or less. I might still be kind of hoarse, so apologies for that. So, um, let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to be making today a lovely braided bracelet. This is a five strand braid. You can see just different things I already have made. Um, it's actually super easy, so don't get intimidated by this. Uh, to make this bracelet, we're going to need, first of all, round nose pliers and uh, flush cutters. And I'm using Weber's brand and Zuron. Everybody always seems to want to know what brand I'm using, so there you go. Uh, you'll also be needing some beads. I'm going to be using 6mm Bicone Swarovski crystals in the color emerald. You can really use anything you like. Um, if the hole in the bead is too small to accommodate the wire, you'll just need to get a bead reamer to uh, fix that up. So really anything will work fine for this. Speaking of wire, this is going to be 18 gauge. I will be using silver filled from RioGrande.com and you're going to need five pieces each 10 inches long. Now this will make a probably small to medium size bracelet, so if you want to make it a little bit larger, you just like the looser style bracelets, you'll probably want to increase it to at least 11 inches for each piece. And finally, we'll just be needing some plain old masking tape. Alright, so to get started, I already have my pieces cut here. So again, five pieces, each 10 inches long. And we're very simply going to take about two or three inches of masking tape. And then you're going to grip all your wires so that they're flat together. Go ahead and get all the ends flush together, just like so. I'm just silencing my phone here, it was starting to make noises. And then we're going to put the masking tape just to bind these together and flip it around so I don't get all sticky, just like so. And to start the braid for this, <clears throat> what we're going to do is divide this into three strands on the right and two on the left, just like that. The camera stand's getting in the way here. Um, so three on the right, two on the left, and this is a very simple braid. We're just going to take the outside strand on the right and bring it to the middle. And then you're going to take the outside strand on the left and also bring that to the middle. Just like so. And I'm going to actually flip this around because it keeps hitting the camera stand. There we go. I wanted to go ahead and show you how to get the bracelet started one more time. I was worried that it might have gotten a little confusing with me having to uh, change orientations part way through. So again, we have our five wires masking tape together, and we're going to separate into three on the right and two on the left, and we're going to take the outermost wire, pop that to the middle, and then the outermost wire on the left, and move it to the middle. And we're going to keep doing this where we have, anytime we have three on one side, we take the outermost and bring it to the middle. just like so. So hopefully this is easier to see now that I'm starting out with it in the upwards position. So the way you're going to continue this braid, every time you have three strands going to one side, you're just going to take the outermost from those three and bring it over to the middle. So there's that one right to the middle, and 
And the hardest part really is just getting the braids started. I'm just adjusting these wires so they look, you know, have more of a nice arch to them. And outside left to the middle. You can see it's starting to take shape, and don't worry if it looks a little bit messy when you're first getting the braid started, that's just to be expected. And you can see I'm just gently bending these to make more of a curve in the wire. <clears throat> of course, if you're braiding hair or something flexible like that, you don't have to worry about it as much. There we go. Now, once you have about, <clears throat> excuse me, once you have about, oh, maybe an inch and a quarter in from your ends to the braid, we're going to want to put on our first bead that we have. So let me get mine here. And the way you're going to put the beads on, you have two strands here and two strands here and one in the middle. You're always going to put the bead on the strand in the middle. So let me pop that on, just like that. And you want to make sure the strands below it are nice and arched down so that the bead can kind of settle into this little nook right here. And then you're very simply going to continue your braid as if nothing had changed. So we're going to take our outermost left one, bring it to the middle. And again, I'm just going to make sure it gets a nice little bend right there. Okay, now we have three on this side, outermost right to the middle. Just getting it nice and bent there. And again, outermost left to the middle. <clears throat> and outermost right to the middle. So every time you bring a strand, it's going to go over two other strands to reach the middle. Just snug this on up here. And I've also found that <clears throat> when you're first starting out, you might even want to get some 18 gauge aluminum wire to practice this braid because it's much um, softer and more pliable and so it can be just a little bit easier to get the braid started it seems. There we go, outermost right, and we're just going to keep doing this until we have about an inch in between our two beads. There we go, I think one more here, we'll do it. And another way you can figure out how to space them, I mean you can really space them however you like. I like to do do it where you count the uh, points in between. So here's one, and by points I mean where there's a X in the middle of the bracelet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then your bead will sit here. So that's about how I like to space them out. And again, for a second bead, we're going to go for the middle wire on the group of three right here. <clears throat> Just like that. And once again, we're going to bend these wires down so that it can sit in there nice and snug. Okay. And if it doesn't get in as snug as you'd like, you can just take some chain nose pliers to straighten that out. These beads don't have very big holes and so if the wire has a bend they won't won't sit on it very well. There we go. So then we're going to continue taking the outermost left one to the middle. And you can see here I kind of lost my nice little arch in the wire. So I'm just going to take my round nose pliers and tweak it a little. And continuing, outermost right to the middle. <clears throat> so 
so it's really a very simple pattern once you get the hang of it. Really the only tricky part is getting the first first three passes in, I'd say. Getting your braid started. And after each after each uh, wire I move, I like to just reposition everything and make sure that it's lying kind of flat. That's what I'm doing with my thumb right here, is kind of flattening it all out. Otherwise it kind of humps up in the middle. Just seems to make it easier to keep going with the braid. And this is a really nice style because it looks much more complex than it really is. And also you can have a lot of fun swapping out different bead positions, alternating colors. Um, this would look very pretty with pearls in it. Of course you'd need to uh, enlarge the holes in most pearls to fit on 18 gauge wire. Alright, so it's looking like we need another bead on here. Let me just count the points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, looks like we have one too many. So let me reverse that bend. It just looks better to have the beads all evenly spaced. Okay, and again we'll just continue our braid here. And going on up. Okay, so hopefully you're getting the hang of the pattern now. I think at this point I'm going to go ahead and fast forward or skip to a little bit farther down. Go ahead and braid until you're about um, maybe two inches or so from the ends of the wires and then we will come back.